back in the day you would have done Babe of Ascension by Intro as it was the first custom map to release. After conquering that, if brave enough, you would tackle a mortal babe. But every map since dared not to even come close to it in difficulty, meaning that it's probably last on everyone's to-do list. Now, as a community, we have a pretty clear definition of what is regarded the easiest to the hardest, including where the versions of the four maps that got a nerf sit. However, this doesn't necessarily mean it's the best order to play in, as a couple maps feature things from maps that came beforehand. I must also mention that custom maps are divided into two categories, the big polish maps and the challenge huh? maps. The big polish maps are the ones you hear about and see all the time, and these are the ones that have a defined order. The challenge maps are less known and not all of them are unique or interesting. However, some are really cool and fully embrace the concept that it is hard as hell but short. Anyways, starting off our list is Back to the Babe. A shorter map around the length of the DLCs and good overall balancing with not much new crazy stuff. Second is Babe of Ascension, by now a classic, an innovator in the field and by all means a worthy challenge to take on. Its difficulty remains fair to this day, especially when you compare it to all the other maps that have come out since. Yes, it is very long and some falls are evil, but it all feels very articulated and well thought out. There are new gimmicks to enjoy and an original soundtrack to vibe out to. Third is Babe of the Heavens. This map reaches new highs in terms of custom map art, but may have you raging at some of its falls due to its open feel. The nerf fixed many small details in the artwork and made the map just that bit more fun to play. Also, the nerf version has overridden the original on the workshop. Fourth is Babe of Utopia. CJM's third map that is full of gimmicks but much more kind and reasonable in terms of how the map is laid out. There are ruthless falls, but overall it is a positive experience. Fifth is Babe of Memories, and unfortunately is true rage material. Give it a go even if the falls are all over the place. All the feedback that the map received prompted a delayed but very much appreciated nerf that fixed some urgent issues with it. Sixth is Babe of Inferno nerfed. Change is so drastic that it doesn't lie next to its original on the list. The biggest nerf to date, completely changing the feel and pressure of some areas. However, there is still challenge behind it, and its theming starts off basic but really turns into something unique. Seventh is Baber Dimension. I sure hope the tower isn't too hard. This map starts off at a rather average difficulty with some really punishing moments here and there, but absolutely transcends expectations of difficulty with the finale causing an odd disruption in the map's balancing and some of the longest tower grinds. Eighth is Babe of the Realms, similar to Babe of Dimension in that it spikes, and spikes hard. But this is more of a recurring theme throughout and not just towards the very end. The falls are really discouraging, but artistically this map is the most unique, and so that's something to look forward to. Ninth is Babe of Inferno Unnerved, brutal but not as bad as what's to come. Tenth, the second oldest map, Immortal Babe. A true king of difficulty, luckily for everyone, was nerfed a great amount. However, it still offers one of the greatest challenges in Jump King, just eliminating some of the worst punishments and platforming. Eleventh is Immortal Babe Plus, the sequel to Immortal Babe, on par in difficulty because that's what you gotta expect from it. Some of the coolest design and gimmicks put forward, yet you'll want to rage at its design and difficulty because it really goes there, knowing it can. And of course, in 12 is Immortal Babe Unnerved, the true pioneer of difficulty in Jump King, most of which coming from some of the hardest platforming, the longest falls, and the most unfamiliar combinations of gimmicks. Being a more recent map, Back to the Babe features areas from Babe of Ascension, Immortal Babe, and Babe of the Realms, so do keep that in mind. Also, Immortal Babe Plus is designed with the idea in mind that the player has beaten Immortal Babe. Maybe you've seen all the options but aren't so sure you can commit to one of these maps. Maybe you still want a challenge but don't want to spend forever on it. Perhaps even something reminiscent of the base game. Some new variation that isn't. Darkness Main Babe and Mirrored Map are very easy. Reverse Babe is a clear step up from the previous two. And Invisible Mode. Definitely possible but good luck. If you are interested in challenges that aren't based on existing maps, Pause here to view a list of ones that I recommend. Maybe you've tried out some of these custom maps before and seen entrances to secret challenge areas but haven't committed to completing them because there is no indication of how hard they are. Maybe you like chasing the bird in each map 
but are faced with the issue that two of these maps require you to beat the challenge area in order to start the chase, those being the nest and reverse dimension. From easiest to hardest, it goes, the nest from Babe of Ascension, tap to add text from Back to the Babe, reverse dimension from Babe of Dimension, the backside of Elysian from Babe of Utopia, another dimension from Babe of Dimension, KZ Null from Babe of the Realms, and finally, Secret of Rinfone from Babe of Inferno, the hardest by far. There is also a map that doesn't really fit into either category, Battle for the Babe, a short race map that is ideal for casual races or speedrunning, and themed around VVV, VVV, and The End is Nigh. I might not have the best opinion on this, but simply taking a break for a few hours, or a day or two, is all that is needed sometimes when frustration overrides your ability to play well potentially without you even realising at the time. Other times where burnout really affects your ability to play, it may be best to either take a break from junking entirely, or just play a different map. By copying your saves and saves perma folders into somewhere safe, you are able to play a different map while saving your progress of the one you've currently been playing. Maybe beating this new map will give you enough motivation to come back and finish off the job. Sometimes burnout and boredom comes from the limitations you set yourself that others may not even consider when completing a first playthrough. The two most evident examples of this are playing blind and using the snake ring. The snake ring is very beneficial and not just for negating snow but also walking in smaller increments, making jumps that require tight positioning much easier and more feasible to hit. Sometimes beating a map without any help may not be worth it. So if you really want to progress, and perhaps have come to the point where you may not really care, then go for it. Ask for help or look up a video of the map you are playing. Because of these limitations, sometimes you can't effectively compare times with others, and generally that's a good thing. Be proud of your times, be proud that you finished, and sometimes a much longer playthrough is more meaningful and rewarding, showing a strong mindset and willingness to put in the effort. Not everyone beats these custom maps, so really, be proud of yourself. These maps are meant to be hard, so don't get too angry at yourself if you are struggling. In some cases, a lack of thorough playtesting or even planning and design can be the reason you are struggling. Here are a final few things to consider and think about. Don't be afraid to look up something that you are struggling with, but then again, you should at least try a jump more than once before opting for a guide. This rule applies in most cases, but when it comes to, for example, a mortal babe's tower, go nuts. Another thing is to know the benefits or downsides of either underjumping or overjumping a jump. Know what it is safer to do, and if anything, aim to do that. Be willing to put in a huge effort, otherwise you may never reach the top. These map creators are evil and want to push you to your limits. Lastly, don't touch unnerf a mortal babe. Or do, I can't stop you.